Our goal here is to find that optimal consumption bundle, that, that C star. We're trying to find that. And we need to always have two things, right? We need to know what the preferences are. So we need to know the preferences. And we know that that's C1 equals to C2. And we also, we need to know the IBL equation. And here we just have a two period model. And remember that it's going to be PVLC, the present value of lifetime consumption, equals the present value of lifetime resources. And what exactly is that? So here we start. We start always with that equation. In the two-period model, it's C1 plus C2 over 1 plus R, that's the future consumption discounted, equals, and then we're going to have our current income and wealth, so it's our current resources, Plus, we get our future resources discounted, just like we saw on the other side of the equation. So the first thing, we always start with that IBL equation. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take this and we are going to plug it in, right? C2 can just become C1. We're taking two equations with two unknowns and we're solving for it. So we end up having C1. And now that we've done this, we can actually put a star because we've combined our uh, so this is the preferences is what we want, but we are constrained by this right here. That's the intertempor intertemporal budget line. So it's a budget line. So we are constrained by this. So we're trying to optimize with a constraint. So this is a constrained optimized question. So we have the C1 star over 1 plus R. And everything on the right here are just terms that are going to be shifting our model. These are exogenous terms that will give you some examples with this here in a second. Now what I want to do is we just want to solve this for C1 star. So this is what we're trying to solve for. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get rid of uh, this 1 plus R. So we want to get rid of the, uh, the fractions, right? So we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 1 plus R. So we're going to multiply everything over here by 1 plus R. We're going to multiply everything over here by 1 plus R. That's our first step. And then we're going to distribute this through. And so we're going to get C1 star times one plus r. And then when I distribute this through to the second term, they're actually gonna cancel, so I'm left with just c1 star. On the right-hand side, I'm gonna distribute through as well. So we're gonna distribute through to both of these, so we're gonna get y1 plus w1 times one plus r, plus, this is gonna cancel on that one, plus y2 plus w2. Remember this, I'm going to stop here for a second. Remember, this is combining these two things. So if your IBL equation is different or your preferences are different, this will be a different process. A lot of students get that mixed up. So you want to go through the process every single time in case I change up any of the information. We want to solve out for C1. So what we're going to do is we are going to factor out C1 star here. So what are we left with, right? Well, we're left with a 1 plus R from this factor. Right? So if I pull the C1 out, I'm left with 1 plus R. If I pull the C1 out of the second one, I'm left with just 1. Equals, everything over here is the same. Y1 plus W1 times 1 plus R plus Y2 plus W2. Now what exactly is this? Right, This right here, I've got a 1 plus R plus 1. This is actually 2 plus R. Right, So I've got 2 plus R. 1 plus R plus 1 is 2 plus R. So if I want to solve just for my C1, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 plus R. So divide this by 2 plus R. And what that means is this right here is equal to, this will cancel out, right? Is equal to my C1 star, which is also equal to my C2 star, because we know back here, C1 equals C2. So the optimal bundle is going to be when C1 star equals C2 star equals this number, which is y1 plus w1 times 1 plus r plus y2 plus w2 over 2 plus r. Make sure you can do this type of question because this is really the culmination of everything that we're doing this week. Later on, we're going to do a different example where we change these preferences, and then you're going to have a chance to try this with some actual numbers.